Hello and welcome to another vlog. I'm Tara. You see me every week, I hope. And if you don't, maybe you should subscribe. That would be really nice. So today I am going to take you on a murals tour of Corvallis. Corvallis has got dozens of murals. I had no idea we actually had that many in town. And I did not get to all of them, so there will probably be a second tour at some point. But I started out on 9th Street and then worked my way downtown and I did not even film all of the downtown murals. I think I ended up with um, footage of like 17 or 18 different art pieces in all sorts of interesting locations. In fact, I went into lots of alleys with dumpsters uh, to see some remarkable art. I'm looking out the back because I had a little visitor in the garden. I'll, I'll introduce you to my little garden visitor in just a few minutes. Um, I went out in the backyard just before I came in to film this and I saw, I saw this little fur person and then got some remarkable, very close up footage. I don't think he can see very well. Um, he hears okay, but his vision doesn't seem to be very good and he really, really loves to eat dandelions, which is wonderful because it, I'm glad that they are good for somebody. Besides the bees, I actually, so true confession, I'm totally off topic now. Um, true confession, I was mowing the yard today and I, I feel bad about mowing down all the dandelions because the native bees absolutely love the dandelions. And I feel so guilty that I ended up leaving most of them because the bees just love them. And so I've got lots and lots of dandelions in the back garden. All right, where were we? Murals tour, right. So what I was gonna say about that is I, um, I'm gonna put timestamps in the description of each mural so that if you're from this area or even if you're not, you could jump from mural to mural um, I'm going to put all the location information and all the artist information if I can find it. If I miss something and you have a correction, please do let me know so that I can update all of this. There is a Corvallis mural site and I'll also put the URL in the description, but it's not completely up to date because I think there are some murals that are gone that are still on the map and there are some murals that are not on the map that should be. So, um, like I said, I'll probably end up doing a second one of these because I didn't get even anywhere close to seeing everything there was to see. In fact, this morning I went back to refilm some footage that didn't come out right the first time and found another piece that I had never seen before and didn't know existed, just happened to stumble on it. So, lots and lots of fun art to look at. So, I'll see you again at the end. Good morning. Today we're going to be doing a tour of murals in Corvallis, starting with this incredible piece behind me. This piece was started in 2019 and is unfinished, but it is still absolutely gorgeous. This owl particularly is phenomenal. And as you can see, it is mostly still in the neutral underpainting but still quite beautiful, and the detail is just incredible. All the murals that I'll be showing today will have artist credits where they're available, and I'll have those, uh, those links for you uh, in the description below. Isn't this wonderful? This is such a beautiful piece. This incredible underwater scene is located on the Albans Plumbing Building on 9th Street. I think this is still Northwest 9th. From Northwest 9th Street, I headed downtown to visit this mural, which is one of my all-time favorites. I love the energy and the dynamic feeling of this piece. It's just really a beautiful, beautiful piece and one of the very first ones that was painted in downtown Corvallis. That is not a real door. That is a trompe l'oeil door. 
at the teddy bear dance mural, which you have seen before. And by the way, the Color Wheel Company is the company that makes those readily available color wheels in paper, and they're located in Philomath, Oregon. If you're not a Grateful Dead fan and you don't know this song, it's called Man Smart, Woman Smarter, and I'll put a link up above so that you can listen to a live performance of this song, which is fantastic, as is the dancing teddy bears. Then directly beside it is Maya, which is this beautiful woman on the Taco Vino building. This is Mary's Peak, an iconic Corvallis landmark, and this mural is on the Peak Sports Building. I love the hay fields in the foreground. So beautiful and so characteristic of summers in our area. This gorgeous piece is called Aguante Pachamama, which translates to Stay Strong Mother Earth. Pachamama is a goddess that is revered by the indigenous people of the Andes Mountains and is known as the Earth Time Mother. She is absolutely spectacular and is on the wall of what used to be the Mongolian Grill and faces a parking lot off of Southwest First Street. Hiding under the overpass is this beautiful cougar who guards the space beneath the bridge. This used to be a homeless encampment and so it, this particular mural is scarred from a fire. I almost missed most of this mural. This is facing the alleyway, and I thought this was all there was. And then I got on Instagram and realized that I had missed most of the mural, which is actually facing to the side. So I returned the next day to get the rest of this mural, which is in honor of the Odd Fellows and depicts their values of friendship, love, truth, and their symbols which include the all-seeing eye and the bees. I am not a member of the Odd Fellows, so I don't really understand quite what all of these mean, but it makes for a very, very beautiful mural, which is a little hidden jewel along this alleyway. And speaking of alleyways, you can't be afraid of dumpsters if you're going to see all of the art on the walls, like this really, charming, very sweet sea otter. These beautiful wings, which are wings of a red-tailed hawk, and as you can see, is an interactive mural. Right next door to them, this hummingbird entitled Humming Jewel. The light was terrible for us to see that one very well. Continuing along the same alleyway, this piece is called Mountain Sunset. And then directly across from Mountain Sunset is the crowbar, an actual bar. I do not know anything about this painting, unfortunately. But the mural next to it is Crow at Totality, which commemorates the complete and total eclipse of the sun that we had here in 2017, which was indeed a spiritual and amazing, amazing experience. This gigantic beaver starts part of an underwater scene that then transitions into a beautiful scene that describes so much of what the natural world is like near Corvallis with deer and salmon and as you can see Mary's Peak in the background. This is one of the larger murals in Corvallis and is an all-time favorite. And right next door to it is yet another mural on the Coffee Culture Building. And it's just delightful and so sunny. Wouldn't it be nice to have an ice latte and sit next to that? 
Like many of the parking lot and alleyway murals, this one has a dumpster parked in front of it. And I found the presence of the dumpsters a little off-putting, but if you're willing to look behind them, they often hide little treasures, like this beautiful owl peeking out from inside a hole in the stump. I found this piece totally by accident. It's on an alleyway. I was on my way somewhere else to film a different mural and poof, there it was. So, so many beautiful artworks that I had no idea existed until I started doing this tour, which was really a delight and an extra bonus of recording this video. Last but not least, this beautiful piece, Greetings from Corvallis, that depicts so much of what I love about living in this community. This piece is practically photorealistic with this amazing view of the Black Lives Matter protests from 2020. The iconic and endangered Van Buren, Van Buren Street Bridge. This is just a phenomenally beautiful mural and one that reminds me of what I love about living here. So much art, so much natural beauty, and social and environmental consciousness. Yeah, that's Corvallis. And here's my new little friend. He's a Nutria. I knew that we had a Nutria family living in the creek behind the cottage, but I had not met one of my neighbors quite so close up until when I recorded these videos as he came in to munch the dandelions in the back garden. And he can have as many dandelions as he wants. So, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please do hit like and subscribe and share my content if you like it. That would really mean a lot to me. Growing a YouTube channel is a thing. It's hard. And so if you're willing to offer some help by hitting like and subscribe and telling people about my channel, that would be, I would be really grateful for that. And I hope you enjoyed the tour of all of the murals. There's some amazing, amazing art. And honestly, it's making me want to like design and paint a mural on the cottage because why not? And wow, wouldn't that be fun? So I might just do that. We'll see. And I hope you enjoyed meeting my little Nutria friend who came under the garden gate, apparently, at least that's how he seemed to exit just a few minutes ago. Kind of a chunky, funny looking little guy. I know that they're introduced species and so please don't yell at me for loving a Nutria. He's cute and he's sweet and he doesn't know that he's introduced and he doesn't know that he's not supposed to be here. So I'm just gonna be kind to him and feed him as many dandelions as he would like to eat. Uh, what else? Is there anything else I wanna say? Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Seriously, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time. See you later.